We're going to talk about understanding weight in this lesson, 8.6. Weight is how heavy or how much mass an object has. Two objects could be the same size but have different weights. Look at these. A basketball is about the same size as a bowling ball, but the bowling ball is heavier. The bowling ball has more weight. It has more mass. The basketball is filled with air and the bowling ball's filled with plastic resin that the bowling ball's made out of. It's not hollow, and the basketball's hollow with air, isn't it? That means the bowling ball has more mass. Take a look at this. This is a scale. It's also called a pan balance. It works like a lever, like a seesaw. We put things in the pans, and the heavier side will go down. There's a point right here called a fulcrum. A fulcrum is a spot where a lever rests, like this, when they're the same weight, or pivots when a heavier weight is on one side. See? That's a fulcrum. This point right here where it pivots and where it tips, okay? We can even use our hands to find which object is heavier. We could put a dictionary in one hand and a pencil in the other, and we can feel the dictionary's heavier and one object can be smaller than another object, but heavier. A bed pillow is not as heavy as a bag of flour, and the bag of flour is smaller. Well, this bed pillow is filled with air. We can squish it and squish the air out. It's not as dense and doesn't have as much mass as the bag of flour, so the flour is heavier. It's got more mass. So if we had a pan scale like this, and we had an apple in here, and it tipped so that this side was heavier, which would be heavier than an apple? What could we put in here that would make it look like that? If we put a piece of paper in this side, would it be heavier than an apple? No. How about a gallon of milk? Yeah, a gallon of milk is pretty heavy. That's heavier than an apple. So if you said gallon of milk, you're right. What about a watermelon? Is a watermelon heavier than an apple? Yeah, they come in all different sizes, but most watermelons are heavier than an apple. How about that paintbrush? Would that be heavier than an apple? No, that's a thin, light paintbrush, isn't it? How about a pencil? No, I don't think a pencil would be heavier than an apple. How about a pumpkin? Well, pumpkins come in all different sizes, just like the watermelon, but the average pumpkin would be heavier than an apple, wouldn't it? All right, let's try some problem solving. Here we have a scale, and we have a bottle of glue on this side. What would make the scale look like this? What would be on this side, this can of paint, or this plastic fork, that would make the scale tip and look like this? Do you know? Remember, the heavier side will go down. So what would be heavier than this bottle of glue? If you said the can of paint, you're right. That'd be a lot heavier than a bottle of school glue, wouldn't it? What would make the pan scale look like this? Now we've got three bananas on this side that are heavy. What could go on this side that would make it stay up? So you have to think, that means the bananas would be heavier, wouldn't it? And we've got some buttons, and we've got a gallon of milk, and we've got a scissors. We need something that would be lighter than bananas, wouldn't we? And the buttons would work. And I think the scissors would work, too. I think they would both be lighter than three bananas. That milk would be really heavy, wouldn't it? Now take a look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five cookies, and we've only got one cookie on this side. And the scale shouldn't be balanced, should it? It shouldn't be like this. Five cookies would make it tip like this, wouldn't it? So which pile of cookies would balance the scale and make it so that they were the same weight? We've got five cookies here and one cookie there. How many cookies would we have to ha add to this side to make the scale even and level so that there's the same weight? Well, if you said the four cookies, you're right, because four plus one is five, isn't it? 
if this pile of cookies was over here, we can actually move it, we'd see that they'd be the same, wouldn't they? See? And then the scale would be even. They'd be the same weight. All right? So we're going to continue talking about weight and measures. And I hope this was helpful. Just remember that things can be the same size, but one can be heavier because it's got more mass. It's got more density. And a bigger thing can be lighter because it doesn't have as much mass. Right? All right. I'll see you next video. Bye.